Hey everybody, Andy here with Mossy Creek Fly Fishing. Today is Tuesday, July 30th. Apologies for being a day late on this, but I'll be bringing you the fishing forecast for this week. As we look at the weather for what's ahead, we've got a very typical summertime pattern uh, for the valley here this week. We've got daytime temps getting up into the low 90s, high 80s, chances of afternoon showers most days. So pretty typical for what we would normally see in the uh, middle of summer around here. Now, as far as our fishing goes, that means we've got pretty typical summertime fishing going as well. So our mountain streams are still low. Um, best to probably stay away from those, but if you're looking to get out and trout fish, we got some great action happening on our spring creeks. So Mossy Creek, we're seeing tons of terrestrials out. As you walk the creek banks, you're gonna be seeing big grasshoppers at your feet. You're gonna be seeing Japanese beetles uh, stacked up in a lot of the bushes around. You'll have ants falling into the water. So fish are very willing to rise right now. Uh, when I walked the creek yesterday, I noticed lots of grasshoppers that were tan, a good many green as well, and starting to see some of your bigger ones too. So some of your Moorish hoppers in like a size 10 would be a good match for a lot of those that I was seeing. Uh, still seeing plenty of Japanese beetles. So your Mohawk beetle, your Fathead beetle, Point Guard beetle, lots of good options out there for that one all good options as well. And have had success on various attractor terrestrial patterns as well. So flies like your PMX or your Fat Albert are a great thing to throw and do what I call survey casting, just working your way up the creek, casting the likely areas and seeing if you can convince a fish to rise. If you start having fish look at those patterns, but maybe not commit, that's when I might switch to something that's more of a hatch matcher. So your beetle, your ant, or maybe a big hopper, but usually if they're turning down one of those PMX or Fat Alberts, it's time to size down and go to something like a beetle or an ant. The other thing we're still seeing is gonna be your trichos in the morning at Mossy. So that'll get your fish looking up. So morning time's been a good time to be out there, but you know, as I always say, fish whenever you can. So if you've got, you know, the midday time to get out, still worth a try. Water's gonna be cold enough on Mossy. And, you know, let's say a breeze kicks up, you might have tons of hoppers falling in the creek and you could have some good uh, middle of the day fishing too. But if you have the option to focus on certain times, I would say morning or afternoon. Seems that as the light starts to go down in the evening hours, you get another good window of good fishing activity out there, um, just like you do in the morning time. Now, um, most of what I said there for Mossy is gonna stay true for Beaver Creek as well. Um, had reports from folks who were out fishing yesterday. They were catching fish on all those same fly patterns, um, doing a little bit of subsurface too. So this goes for Mossy as well, but you could run a dry dropper set up on those rigs, put like a size 16 or 18 attractor nymph below it, and you'll probably pick up some fish on that or try something like a zertle bug or one of the tactical jig zonker varieties and you know find a nice deep undercut bank jig that fly through there, and oftentimes you're gonna find some aggressive fish doing that as well. Uh, other trout options, you've got some tailwater op options still. So, you know, the Jackson tailwater is running about 250 CFS. That stays plenty cold, so you could go down there. Uh, Buffalo Creek, haven't had a tremendous amount of reports from, but that's gonna generally stay plenty cold, although the water levels do tend to get pretty low when we don't have much rain. So uh, maybe give us a ring and check back in. If anybody's been out there and had a report, give us a call and let us know, and we'd love to be able to pass it on to other customers. Um, spring Run uh, out in Bath County, plenty of cold water there, plenty of fish. If you wanna challenge yourself on some really technical uh, site fishing, Spring Run's an awesome place to go do that. Um, and you know, for the most part, unless you wanna drive a little bit further, that's gonna be the majority of your trout options right now that are gonna be worthwhile. Now, smallmouth fishing continues to fish well. The South Fork of the Shenandoah remains low and clear. And so largely what we've been saying is gonna remain true out there. Um, you know, as we, as we watch the forecast, if we get some afternoon showers that can put some color into the water for a day or two, we've had some days out where immediately following that rainfall, we had really good strong activity, a uh, really good bite window while we were out in that colored up water. But the fishing's good day to day. So when we have that super low clear water, just remember longer casts, 
maybe dial back the size of some of your flies. So for your top water stuff, maybe go to something like a soft chew instead of um, you know, a big, huge, aggressive popper. Um, we have had some mornings and, and actually days where all day long our frog fishing was good. So great fly to have in your box right now would be our deer hair uh, swimming frogs. That's an awesome pattern to have regardless, but um, we've had some really good days fishing those. And then bait fish patterns, you know, we always like the CK bait fish. Wiggle minnow is a ton of fun to fish. That's a more surface oriented bait fish pattern. The flash drive. If you want to fish a bait fish in some heavy water or some deeper water, George Daniels spark plug is one that I like a lot. It's got a big heavy tungsten head, gets down quickly, and you can sort of bounce it along the bottom or you could strip it rapidly like more of a traditional streamer retrieve and it works both ways. Um, the other thing I would do in your deep water is fish your crayfish patterns. The ginger clawdad or the brown clawdad tend to be two great colors, but you may want to try something too, like a chartreuse, if you got a bright sunny day and, and low clear water. Um, carp fishing will remain good as we have low clear water too, so those uh, check craft clawdads would be another great pattern to throw for those. Try to find a fish that's nose down on the bottom kicking up mud and practice your accuracy. Give them a drag and drop technique, so lead that fish, cast beyond them, pull that fly back in front of them, and then let it sink in their face. And they're either gonna spook or they're gonna eat it. So you'll find out pretty quick. Uh, name of the game with carp oftentimes is doing that in front of enough fish that you find one that's gonna eat it. And when you do, you're rewarded with a super hard fighting fish. Getting them to eat's only the first challenge. Landing those fish is a whole nother difficulty. So um, a great fish to get out and challenge yourself on this time of year. That's going to be it pretty much for our fishing forecast. If you all have any questions, please give us a call. We'll be back to update you again next week. And as we've been doing all summer, we'll keep our fingers crossed for a little bit of rain and um, a little bit of a rise in our water levels. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the week. Get out and go fish.